It's Anetta and Mongo here with K-pop Oracles and we're bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is an update on Chanyo and Baekhyun of EXO. Keep in mind this is for entertainment purposes only so don't, so don't take it too seriously. I do this for fun, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's see what is the current energies, what's going on with their, their friendship. Actually, let me use this tarot deck. All right, we got two of wands. All right, let me pull like two more cards and we get, we'll get into the message. Okay, got the Hierophant, okay. Okay, we have five of cups in reverse. All right, let's see here. Two of wands, I think, I think they're planning to maybe do some like traveling together. I don't know, some like have a little R&R, &R, go on a lot of adventures together. Um, so it seems like they'll be they'll have a lot of fun this year. With the Hierophant here, it seems it seems like they'll um, continue to, I guess, be like a role model to to one another, kind of guide each other, give each other advice, be like a mentor, you know, or maybe be like that one you know, that one person that people can look up to, so, or, or being like a like a role model or example to maybe the younger generation with the Five of Cups here in reverse, it tells me perhaps they've, maybe they've gone through some hardships together, some sad moments, feeling like, you know, no one's supporting me, that sort of deal, but it feels like they're uh, feeling good about themselves, healing from that difficult moment. What else? We got the Ace of Cups, alrighty. We got the Eight of Wands here popping out. We got the Knight of Wands here, okay. So, Eight of Wands, I mean similar, somewhat similar energy to the Two of Wands, so lots of traveling, lots of communications. It seems like they'll continue to, I guess, have, yeah, great communication with each other, like understanding a lot of adventures and with the Ace of Cups here, perhaps being more open with themselves, maybe telling each other, you know, like, I guess, yeah, being like, yeah, being open, being honest, maybe, or it can mean in general, like, Maybe if they go out and have interviews, like be just kind of revealing more about themselves, not hiding anything. Knight of Wands here. I mean, this, I don't know. It could mean them charming others. It could mean them appealing to people more because the Knight of Wands is someone who's very attractive, very, very um, outgoing, very out there. So perhaps still attract more attention this year for whatever reason. Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is indicating them being like an open book, okay? Not hiding anything, kind of unfiltered. I feel like they'll be more vocal about things this year. Like maybe there might be some things that are troubling them and they'll be like, okay, this is what's going on. This is how I feel about it. Like I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna speak my mind. Nine of Swords, okay. So, okay, so it's not not everything's gonna be perfect this year. I mean, there may, may be some moments where they'll have to deal, some, like, deal with some stress, maybe, or maybe like working with people or dealing with people who are just going through this Nine of Swords moment, like um, feeling, I feel like they'll be like a helping hand to others. Be, again, like being like a, almost like a life coach or that, that person who will perk you up, you know, or make you feel good about them yourself. So I think, yeah, it feels like it's related to mental health. So maybe mental health will be like play a role in this connection this year. And we got the two of cups in, um, at the bottom of the deck here. So, I mean, bromance, uh, platonic romance, okay. <laughs> 
Um, let's see here. What else? Okay, we got Somali, Somali cat. What else? We got Russian blue. Russian blue, okay, very, a cat that's known to be very cautious, okay, very careful. So, um, okay, so maybe they're, they're gonna be cautious about who they let into their lives, so they're gonna be like, okay, this person's no good, this person's okay, I'm gonna hang out with this person more with Somali cat. So, um, I mean, it feels like I just, maybe, I, I feel like maybe there might be some sort of project they'll work on together, like just them two only. Like they're practicing for something. We got Burmese. Yeah, something about whatever project they're working on may attract a lot of attention, okay? What else? Oh, shoot. We got the manatee. Manatee, what else? Okay, this one wanted to pop out. We got the macaw. Macaw, like parrot like mango. <laughs> okay, we got the Bengal cat. All right, Bengal tiger, not cat, sorry. I mean, it is a cat, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> so the manatee, I think this, I mean, the manatee is all about compassion and understanding. So again, I think, I feel like they're working, I feel like they'll work on something that relate to mental health, helping others, um, being like that, that go-to person, okay? And Bengal, cat is indication i feel like they'll continue to be successful in this industry continue to do well like it's, it represents longevity um so yeah they're not like they're not going to be like one of those people that just disappear from the limelight okay i feel like they'll always be renowned for something and the macaw here i think um yeah, I feel like that we may, again, see a side of them that's more real, more raw, more honest, like kind of not hiding behind a mask, kind of show the world like, this is who I am, that sort of deal. Oh, let me actually use this deck. We got the Blazing Star card. Okay. What else? Desert Thorn Apple. Okay. And we got Lady of the Night at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Which indicates hope. Okay. Understanding these cards. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they'll go through some sort of renewal in their career, some sort of awakening. I feel them getting more in tune with their emotions and, uh, and just like having a better understanding of them, of each other and others as well. Um, being that, I feel like just like, like them representing hope, okay? Like, or been them see, being seen as like, again, a role model or just like um, someone who represents um, that light of the end, at the end of a tunnel. Okay, we got bat, bat.
we got dog, dog, and bat. Okay, so maybe they're just feeling, okay, there's a lot of things being spread about us in general, and now it's time for me to speak my mind and say something. Okay, I'm tired of all these like falsehoods and or just narratives. So I'm gonna be like this bat and just like speak my truth, you know? And with the dog here, um, hmm dog here it says be disciplined in your home and community life okay um yeah i don't know like maybe there's just some things that are bothering them and so they're like okay i um like i want to tackle it but at the same time okay but i have to be careful and not overdo things or just come off a certain way so again i think they'll be passionate or speak their mind about something that's bothering them but also just at the same time be kind of careful and not so they don't, um, people don't get the wrong idea of them, I guess. Okay, we have the, f it says almost there. Almost there. Yeah, so... We may see some changes with this connection. It's it's happening. It's happening soon. So stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe button. And um, you know, I'm on Patreon and Twitter. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.